What up, players? It's Warboss Tay. Welcome to day two of my boot camp for the 2016 Warboss Tay painting challenge. And here we have my progress for today. You can see that I've been working on the airbrush for my hammerhead here for my TAL commission. And uh, this is just one of a couple of projects I'm working on. I've also got some Guild Ball, a Mason's team for the game uh, Guild Ball that is really, really cool. And that's I'm, I've got some videos unboxing them. I've also got some videos for uh, some more of the Cyborg Dwarves and an Amazon Girls box set that I, I want to show you guys because those sculpts look amazing. But most of these are all alternative range sculpts. This Tal Hammerhead seems to be the only Games Workshop one I'm doing for the uh, current moment. As soon as this week's done, I'm getting into trying to figure out what I'm going to be doing for the main painting challenge when that comes in. Uh, at the e beginning of next week, but uh, for now, I'm just really focused on getting this hammerhead done for for my client, and uh, also unboxing, assembling, and priming the guild ball team, and finishing up the dwarves, which you might have seen some videos on already. So I've been working on airbrushing, trying to get the uh, color combinations right. I can't tell you how frustrating it was trying to get these colors right because I. Uh, I did not know what the order was, the best order to do this camouflage. The first time I did it, it looked like winter camouflage because it was really, um, like I think I ended with the, the white paint, so the white paint was the top layer. This time you can see the, the, the gray layer was, was my top paint and uh, that made a huge, huge difference. It, it looked like uh, completely different. So I'm, I'm really happy with the way that this came out. I'm just removing the masking tape. I used masking tape from Tamiya, which I just cut into little triangle shapes and um, placed. The first uh, coat I did was white. White was the very bottom coat. And then I did a uh, uh, some black for the, the black dark gray marks. And then after I added, I kept adding my masking tape between each one and then uh, I think I did the the light gray and then I ended up with the uh, that kind of bluish gray which is the top color very very happy with it let's get on to day two of my boot camp daily questions sometimes we listen to music or podcasts to play video or play video to just occupy our brains kind of play in the background and sometimes we really got to just jam and we got to get a job done and we need music that kind of inspires us and and pushes us forward and for me my jam song uh, a little little shout out to my buddy jam jar 34 there my jam song is the touch from the transformers 1980 something movie and i don't know why I just every time i hear that song it just kind of amps me up and makes me paint like two times faster than i normally would so i just put that pop that into my headphones and i start playing that and i put it on loop and that is like that is the song that gets me going so what was the song that gets you going let me know and again, you can follow me here on YouTube. I've also got the uh, daily, all these daily videos going up at mywargaminglife.com and on the Google group. L all links below in the description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow with more updates when I'm going to be getting onto the metallics and the weathering for these two TAL vehicles.